Hey guys. So I have a little bit of time before picking up my boys and I'm at the bus stop already. So I thought I would do a little video update. So um, this is a postpartum update. Someone's pulling up next to me and watching me. That's weird. Okay. So postpartum. Um, I'm six weeks postpartum yesterday and I went to the doctor's yesterday and um, everything was fine. Like physically everything's back to normal. Everything's good. My doctor's still awesome. Um, I think he's a great doctor and I'm so thankful for him and being able to like get through this pregnancy. He made it much better than it would have been had I didn't not had him. So anyway, um, I, I talked to him yesterday about postpartum depression and normally, I don't know, part of me, I've kind of gone back and forth about sharing this on YouTube because um, I, I feel like there's a lot of judgment around postpartum depression, which is stupid because it's a real thing and it happens. And, um, I don't think that you should feel embarrassed or ashamed to talk about it. And it really happens. And I didn't have it with my last two kids, but with Ty, who is our second son, he's our autistic son. I had the worst postpartum depression and I, I'm talking really bad. I didn't talk to anyone about it, not even my husband. I didn't talk to my mom about it, not like my sister who I'm really close with, like nobody. And I literally said nothing to anyone. And I remember feeling like days where I was so sad and Tim would leave for work and the moment he left, I would just cry and I would cry and cry and cry. And I had like horrible, horrible thoughts of, wanting to hurt myself. I never ever wanted to hurt my baby or my other son. Um, thank goodness. But I, I would, you know, say things like, do I even want to live? You know, like stuff like that. And it was horrible, but you know, I didn't know postpartum depression was a thing. I didn't know that that happens. And I was like, what is wrong with me? Like I felt so embarrassed. And so when I started feeling that, not that way, but when I started feeling, starting to feel like the signs of postpartum depression and the different symptoms and like the early signs of it, I was like, oh my gosh, like not again. I do not want to go through this again. I didn't take anything with Ty because I didn't tell anyone. I didn't even tell like the midwife with my mom who delivered him. And I didn't tell anyone on her team, like I didn't talk to anyone about it. And looking back, I wished I would have. So yesterday I talked to the doctor about what's been going on and how I'm feeling. And he's like, okay, let's take care of it. And I'm so glad I did. Plus, I mean, honestly, like I have the best doctor ever. Like he never makes you feel stupid for bringing stuff up. Um, and you're, I'm always heard, which is huge. So, um, every time I have a concern or a question, it's never a dumb question and he always answers it. Um, and I really appreciate that because it makes a world of difference because it makes you feel like you can talk about things and you can bring things like that up. So, um, I did talk to him today. I started taking, um, a medication for postpartum depression, which I've never done before. I've, this is my fifth child and I've never taken Buddy. He's fine. Okay, that scared me. Um, so I've never taken anything and I've never needed to other than with Ty. Um, but with five kids, like it just because you get it once doesn't mean you'll get it again, but just because you have never had it doesn't mean you won't. And um it's a real thing and it's scary and it's emotional and exhausting and like I have the best baby and he he hardly ever cries and like if he's crying he's hungry or got a wet diaper like he almost never cries and he's been such a good baby and it has nothing to do like postpartum depression doesn't only come when you have a fussy baby or colicky baby or it it's not only when you're nursing or only this or only that like it's a real thing it comes whenever the hell it wants and <laughs> it's got a mind of its own so I just 
I don't know, I don't want to be like afraid to talk about it. And so that's why I decided to share it with you guys because maybe there's another first time or second time or even fifth time mom out there who doesn't know that postpartum depression is a real thing and they're going through it and they're going, what is wrong with me? Why do I have these feelings? Why do I feel this way? Talk to someone about it. Don't feel stupid talking to someone. If someone makes you feel stupid, find someone else to talk to about it. Talk to somebody that will listen to you, that will help you through it because it is hard. It's so hard on your own. And I, with Ty, it lasted for a year. I, it was a year of just really, really hard, hard times. And no one needs to go through that alone. So find someone to talk to, talk about it, be very open about it because then you'll find yourself like kind of thinking through your own feelings, if that makes sense, like things you didn't even realize you were feeling and being open and talking about it is healing and it's helped. So I've been talking about it not only with my doctor, but with our primary care physician as well, um, just because she asked when we were at the doctor for Kip and it's good. It's good to talk about it. And even if it makes you cry, you'll feel better after. So, um, yeah, talk about it. That's what I want to say today is talk about it. So anyway, the kids have, um, some events for school tonight. So, um, we'll get home fairly late, <sighs> but we're going to go to their little Christmas events and I'm sure it's going to be adorable as can be. So, that's all for now, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye, guys.